Ah, cat. We love cat. It's cuddly, it's warm, it's familiar, and we know how to interact with it, and how to get the best out of it. But what if we found a new friend? Bat. Can that be as cuddly and as warm, and can we get as much out of it as we can with a cat? Well, in this video, we'll have a look at cat, and have a look at bat. To install bat, you can go pkg install bat, or you can change directory to user port text proc bat, and then make install clean. Right, I'm in a directory called test, and in test there is an example Python script. We can have a look at test if you want using cat, and it will give you the usual plain text display, which will always go to the end of the file. So let's clear that. If we want to have a look at it without it going to the end of the display, we'll just put pipe and then less. And of course, it will always stop until we press space and then go to the end. But we're going to use bat. The bat is a useful little tool. It's uh, only difference is the, uh, the first letter of the name, but there's a lot of difference behind the scenes. So we'll just put bat and then the same Python script. And instantly you can see it's formatted better with some nice coloring, some numbers, which you can change if you wish, and the formatting and the fact that you can scroll up and down. And without reaching the end. Of course, when you do get to the end, you can exit just pressing Q. So it's the same as uh, when you put less. It's a useful little thing. So it's... Uh, Again, compare the default cat with the default bat. There you go. There's a world of difference. It's very nice. So what else can you do with bat? Uh, well, let's have a look. I've just added three more scripts. I've renamed them. It's just a copy of the original Python script that we look at. But you can load up multiple uh, files. And there's one of them. If we scroll down, you'll see the second one, the fourth one, and the third one. So you can load them all up in one, well, one massive file, as it were. You can also create files, as you can with cat itself. So everything you can do with cat, you can do with bat. So if we put bat, and then uh, put the message the text into a file called test.text, and then anything you type there will go into it. Just, uh, just random keys. And then if you want to come out of it, it's control C. And then if we have a look, it should have a file there, test.text. And if we have a look at test.text, you can see, there we go. A very small file with what typed in. So it does everything that cat can. So as a functionality of it with some added bonuses. Right. Also using bat, we can obviously load up one and two and three and four and then put them into a new file called big.py if you wish and like when you load them all up at the same time it will just more or less do that to one file so it will create one file and if you load it up into say for instance uh, ee again it's all them four files into one pretty cool let's we'll clear that and what else can we do? Well, the default look is really nice. It's like a darkish uh, comment section and uh, some nice colored text. But you can do other colors if you want in themes in this particular case. And if you list themes as double hyphen list hyphen themes, you've got a really, really, I don't know, quite a large selection. So I'm just going to scroll up. And you can see the subtle changes in the text. Every almost combination that you want. And there we go, there's the top. So, cold dark. It is dark, actually. And then you've got uh, dark neon and uh, like that. And GitHub, which could be useful for those who uh, want to do the coding via this. And it says further themes can be installed into 
the .config bat themes folder in your home directory. And then you just run bat cache double hyphen build to rebuild it and to make sure they get listed. The default look of bat is quite nice. And if we put in the new theme, which is going to be the GitHub one. So double hyphen theme equals, and then we'll just paste that in GitHub. And there we go. There's the change in look. Very nice. I do like that one, actually. It's uh, a little bit dark, but I do like it. So, yes, uh, there's the default look. It's very good. Bat also has a very large help file with all the commands and syntaxes you can use. Far more than I can cover in a small video like this. And there we are. We'll just scroll up. And it's got a lot of options. You can change the pages, the fonts, you can strip away the numbers if you wish, tabs, look at diff, all sorts. And uh, yeah, it's very comprehensive. You could have it looking more, for instance, like cat if you wish, although you'd be best off just using cat maybe. Or you can just uh, tweak it a little bit more to get everything out of it that you want. Although we do love cat, and it served us very well, and it's very cuddly and cute, maybe you could make room for a bat. Although he is cute though, isn't he? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.